check them out. Hey, it's that time again. I'm Pastor Matsu, and I have an exciting word to share with the high school minister here at The Source FCBC. As some of you may know, our word for this year is onward, and the Lord is teaching us the ABCs of moving forward. Last time we learned about alignment, and today I want to tell you about that time I went to the Rams game. <laughs> Yes, I got to go to that playoff game, that infamous playoff game where the LA Rams played the 49ers. I got to go not because I'm a Rams fan, sorry, but I am an LA girl and a native and I did cheer for them and was so blessed to go um, because someone else couldn't go. Point of the story is when I went, I learned that when you are a Rams fan, fan or even if you're not a Rams fan and you go to the SoFi Stadium they have a saying and the saying is this whose house and then the people call it Rams house and I also learned that even at a Chargers game who also share the same territory for their sports they don't say that that particular saying is for the Rams and so I think it's key because it ties into our word for today. Well, there's actually two words. They're an A word as well. And that's the word acknowledge. It is so important to acknowledge the Lord our God. Now, where do I get that connection between whose house, Ram's house, and God? Well, because on Sundays, and we meet each first and third Sunday now in the living room, we have an opportunity to come together to whose house? God's house and acknowledge that he is the creator of the universe, the Lord of our life, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. You know what? He's the one who put the meow in a cat, knows where the meower is in the cat and knows how a meower works. I mean, we don't think about the vastness of the depth of the power and the strength and the love of God. But when we stop and acknowledge who he is, worshiping him is not so difficult. Standing, clapping our hands, singing songs, waving banners, honoring him with our offering and our time, giving our talents. These things come when we acknowledge whose house and not just whose house when we come to church, but who created us. Like literally we are temples of his glory and his love. And so we should care for ourselves and one another, we should acknowledge that we are his creation. The other thing that I kind of learned at this game is um, it's important to appreciate. Like I, I love football and while I'm not a Rams fan, I have to get that on record <laughs> because the kids, you guys will get me because you know I switched my teams um, recently. But uh, the story is um, I can appreciate the two teams that made it to the Super Bowl, you know? Um, and soon we'll see who's gonna be victorious. But with those teams, it's not like they weren't playing lots of other great teams all year. You know what I mean? So it doesn't matter if you're a Steelers fan or a Cowboys fan, <clears throat> Kansas City fan, or, or, or a Raiders fan, or a Rams fan. These are all great teams and even the ones I didn't name. So if they're not playing up against, you know, whack athletes that, you know, maybe somebody like me is what I'm saying. <laughs> They are playing against the best of the best. And so whoever wins will have basically the, the title for the NFL, but only for a year. And then it starts all over again. And what we can appreciate is that God is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords all the time, throughout all time and into eternity. And so we can look back at that passage that I talked about last time, Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge, acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make straight your paths. So as we're moving forward, we want to stay aligned with the most high God. We want to acknowledge all that he's doing, all that he's done and let that inform our worship. And then we want to appreciate who he is, that he's never lost. We have the victory because of him. His banner over us is love. And he has raised up a standard so that when the enemy tries to come against us, 
we're good. So let's appreciate our God. Let's acknowledge our God. Let's be aligned with our God. And let's go onward into all that our God has for us in 2022 and beyond. I'm Pastor Matu. It is such a pleasure to share these nuggets with you each week. I pray and hope that you can come and join us in person. Um, first and third Sundays, 930 a.m. We love you and we're praying for you. Check them out.